Hello everybody. All we are doing today is an asynchronous assignment, which I'm going to explain in this video so that you can complete it before we go back to regular classes tomorrow. So as you're looking at your agenda for today, you will see that the task we're looking at is defining the dream, which is a class brainstorming document. And you are currently watching this video for directions. So when you go into the document, which is posted in your classwork tab, um, you will see this, defining the dream. The first thing you will do, which is marked first, is to click here and watch this video, which is a bunch, a bunch of people defining the American dream. After you have watched that video, you are going to go into this chart and using the comment feature, you're going to fill in two boxes with anything that you think is part of the American dream. So if um, to get started, you can ask yourself these questions. How do you personally define the dream? How do you know when you've made it? So things that you could put um, relationships. So you could say, you know, part of the dream is being married with a family, for instance, if that works for you. You can put things that are material objects. So having my own house would be a material object or having my own car would be a material object. Goals would be something like graduating from college or getting a specific job or, you know, um, getting a high school diploma. All of those are goals that would be part of the dream. And then feelings or emotions, if you are basing um, your achievement of the dream more on, I'll know I've made it when I'm happy or when I can relax and not worry about money all the time or what, whatever it is, those would be things that would fit in this column. So your job is to fill in two things. You can pick whatever two you want. You can do two relationships. You can do a material object and a goal. As long as you put two things somewhere in this chart, you are good to move on. So when you scroll down to the second page, this is where you're thinking about how um, this relates to the essay that we're going to start writing. So the question you're answering is, does the United States still provide access to the American dream for everyone? So in here, in this chart, you're going to add one comment telling why the statement is true. So pick whichever side you think you agree with. Yes, the American dream is still accessible to everyone. Or no, the American dream is not accessible to everyone. And then in one of the boxes below, you're going to type in why you think the statement you've chosen is true. So you would give me a reason. If you choose yes, it's still accessible, you can say one reason why you think that is true. If you choose no, you're putting a reason why that is true. You only have to choose one side and put one comment. So just to reiterate, you're watching this video. You are putting two comments in this chart. How, whatever combination of comments you want. It could be two in one column. It could be two different columns. Whatever works for you. And then you are picking one of these, either side A or side B, and writing a comment telling me why you think that side is true. And once you are done with that, you are good for the day. Um, this is listed as an assignment, so you can mark it as done so that it takes it off your to-do list once you have put in your comments. And we will talk about this when we come back to class tomorrow.